Well, in 23 days, La Crosse voters decide who will represent them in Madison for Wisconsin's 95th Assembly District. News 19's Marcus Arsvald tells you what each candidate brings to the table. Your voice matters and your vote counts. When you're making your decision, here's what you should know about 95th District Assembly candidates, incumbent Representative Jill Billings and Jerome Gunderson. Democratic candidate Jill Billings started serving as the 95th Assembly District Representative in 2011. Republican candidate Jerome Gunderson previously ran for the position and has served on the La Crosse County Board. One of the big table issues, COVID-19. Billings plans to follow the health department guidelines. I look at the science and I listen to the scientists. If there's an infectious disease expert, I'm going to listen to that person more than I'm going to listen to a Facebook posting from somebody like my sis. Gunderson believes they emphasize masks too strongly. We started out with a big emphasis on hand washing. It's shifted to wearing masks and that mask isn't the solution. Masks do not stop COVID. Distance stops COVID. Clean hands prevent transfer of disease. It's important to, to not have a false sense of security. Another unintended consequences of focusing on masks is people think they're immune to the disease. Whoever wins the election represents 55,000 Western Wisconsinites potentially forever. The position is up for re-election every two years. Gunderson says there should be term limits. I believe that Jill's had a long term, five terms in, in office. It's time for her to move on. Anytime somebody's staying somewhere to be safe, maybe they're not serving the entire community. Billings says term limits don't provide enough time for legislators to make real change and essentially takes away the voters' power. When you have term limits on legislators like me, all the power lies with the lobbyists and the staff because there's no turnover there and they know the issues in and out and they know how things run. And so you have legislators who are elected by people to be their voice and their eyes and ears. A top tier issue for voters is road conditions. Gunderson says that that's just one example of an important project like paving La Crosse Street that's fallen through the cracks. You have to look at things from the perspective of what do the people need most. I think that uh, there are a lot of things that have kind of fallen by the wayside that a new perspective and a new representative can bring new focus. But Billing says she's working on it. I mean, clearly uh, that street needs some work. And it's a main thoroughfare for lacrosse. When people come to lacrosse, I mean, we don't like that that's what they see a, a road where they're bounced all over. And unfortunately, so many years under the uh, Republican administration of not funding things, uh, projects got deferred and delayed. Um, so now we're doing a lot of catch up. Whether it's COVID, term limits, or improving the roads, both candidates say that they're right for the job. Gunderson is a construction worker, not a career politician, so he says he'll bring fresh eyes to Madison. Meanwhile, incumbent Representative Billings is in her ninth year, and she says she will not stop until she gets the job done. You can make your voice heard in the race for the 95th Assembly District on November 3rd. All right, thank you, Marcus. Now, tomorrow at noon, you can hear Billings and Gunderson debate these issues live on News 19's Facebook page.